With the typically bumpy nature of most street circuits, the Formula E car suspension has a tough job to do. And whilst we might all be familiar with pushrods and wishbones, it's inside the chassis where much of the work is done. Rockers mounted in the top of the chassis turn the load seen at the wheels and transmitted through those pushrods into torsional or twisting forces. And interchangeable torsion bars control that rotational movement and act like the springs on your road car supporting the weight of the vehicle. Drop links connect the rockers to adjustable anti-roll bars that the teams can use to manage the amount of roll in the car or how much it leans over in the corners. Again, all part of the mechanical setup that can make such a difference to the way the car handles. And then there are the dampers or shock absorbers that rapidly transfer oil between internal chambers as the car goes over the lumps and bumps and its dynamics change constantly around a lap. Again, they're all adjustable and form part of the driver and engineer's toolkit in their search for the perfectly balanced and ultimately fastest race car possible.